Today we're going to be taking a look at all the mice that I own. So this mouse right here is actually my first ever mouse. This is the Utex Smart Venice and it's a pretty bad mouse but at the time when I bought it I thought it was pretty cool because it had a lot of side buttons so I could customize them. It also has a button right here. It even has weights at the bottom. I currently have no weights inside of it. So right here is where you would put the weights and then you would just put it onto the mouse and you could customize the weight like that. But even without any weights it still weighs a pretty good amount. Alright for the second mouse of my collection this is the Rocat Kona. XP. Roka actually sent this out to me. I actually use this in my productivity setup because it has a bunch of buttons and they're in really good spots. Like for example, right here on the left click, it has two buttons. Right here it has four buttons and then down here it has one button. The RGB on this mouse is really cool. And yeah, it has also a left click and a right click on the scroll wheel, which is pretty cool. It's a wired gaming mouse, just like the last one. And yeah, overall, I just use it for my productivity setup and it's been doing really well. I customized all the buttons for DaVinci Resolve, which is my editing software that I use. And yeah, it's been working great for me. By the way, if you guys wanna buy or check out any of these mice, go to the links down below in the description. I'll have them there. And also you guys can press on the link that says my Amazon storefront. Over there, it'll take you to a page on Amazon which is gonna have everything that's in my setup. And for the third mouse, this is the Rocat Burst Pro Air. This mouse is also from Rocat. They sent this out to me, and this is probably my second favorite mouse or my favorite mouse because I just really like the design. It's just if it was a little bit lighter, I would probably like it a little bit more. I really like these two buttons on the side. They're really big and they stick out. The RGB on this is insane. And it's also wireless, which is my favorite because I love wireless mice. And yeah, I really like using this when I don't feel like using my Razer Vibe for Ultimate. But yeah, to charge this, you use USB Type C. And this mouse also does have a really long battery life, which is really good. You could change the DPI on the button on the top. It also has a scroll wheel with RGB. And yeah, it only has buttons on the left side, not on the right, which I really like. Because the Razer Vibe for Ultimate has buttons on both sides. All right, second to last mouse is the Diarrhea Falcon. Diarrhea sent this out to me. And overall, it's not too bad of a mouse. It kind of feels cheap. As you can hear, all the cracking. And the side buttons kind of feel cheap. Overall, this mouse has really good RGB, a pretty nice scroll wheel, and a really good cable. I really like the clicks on it. And I really do like the shape of it. It's pretty cool. For the last mouse, this is my Razer Viper Ultimate, which I use all the time. This is currently my main mouse, and yeah, and it's a pretty decked out mouse. It's really light. It has pretty good glide on it. I really like the feel to it. The side buttons are pretty small, which I don't really like, and they also kind of like don't stick out. And there's also side buttons on both sides. But besides that, this is a really good mouse. It's really light, wireless. This mouse also comes with a charging dock, which you could just place your mouse on it and it charges. In the charging dock, there's also a USB, which I put in the USB that comes with the mouse in there. So it's already connected to my PC. The clicks are pretty good on it. And yeah, this mouse is really light. I really like it. And yeah, the RGB on it, as I said, it's really easy to customize it and it's pretty bright. And yeah, overall, it's a pretty solid mouse and I would definitely recommend it. Once again, if you guys want to check out any of these mice, the links will be down below in the description. And if you guys want to check out my Amazon storefront to anything that's in my setup, go check it out. It's going to be linked down below in the description. That said, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.